ever wondered how the universe keeps everything in place? How the planets, stars and galaxies all seem to move in harmony? To understand this cosmic ballet, we must delve into the realm of space-time. Picture it as a four-dimensional fabric that stretches and bends under the weight of objects with mass. This isn't just abstract thought, it's a cornerstone of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It was Einstein who proposed that gravity isn't a force pulling objects together, but a curvature, a dimple, in the fabric of space-time caused by mass. This revolutionary idea transformed our understanding of the cosmos. Imagine a ball rolling down a hill. In a similar way, planets and stars roll along the curves created by massive objects in the fabric of space-time. They aren't pulled, they're following the natural curves of this cosmic fabric. Just as a ball rolls down a hill, planets and stars roll along the curves created by massive objects in the fabric of space-time. Imagine you're on a trampoline. What happens when you place a bowling ball in the middle? The trampoline sags under the weight, right? This is because the bowling ball is exerting a force on the trampoline, causing it to curve downward. Now consider this trampoline as the fabric of space-time and the bowling ball as a massive celestial body, like a star or a planet. This simple analogy can help us understand how space-time works. Much like the trampoline, space-time isn't just an empty void. It's a dynamic entity that bends and curves under the influence of mass. When we place our bowling ball or massive object onto the trampoline, the fabric doesn't remain flat and unaffected. It curves, it dips, it changes its shape to accommodate the presence of the bowling ball. Now, what happens when we roll smaller balls across the trampoline? They naturally move towards the bowling ball, not because the bowling ball is pulling them, but because they are following the curve that the bowling ball has created. This is essentially what happens in our universe. Planets don't just fall towards the sun because the sun is pulling them in. They're moving along the curves in space-time that the sun, with its massive weight, has created. So, much like the little balls rolling towards the bowling ball on our trampoline, smaller objects in space move along the curves created by more massive objects. So how does this all relate to the motion of objects in the universe, you may ask? Well, let's dive into it. The bending of the space-time fabric is what orchestrates the grand cosmic ballet. It's not just about stars and planets, everything from the tiniest grain of cosmic dust to the most gargantuan galaxy is part of this dance. They all move along the curves in the fabric of space-time. Think of a planet orbiting a star. It's not that the star is pulling the planet in like a lasso. No, the planet is merely following the curve that the star's mass has carved out in the space-time fabric. It's as if the star has scooped out a well in the fabric of space-time and the planet is rolling along the edge of that well. The same principle applies to all celestial bodies. A galaxy, for instance, is a colossal mass that creates significant curves in the fabric of space-time. Its constituent stars, planets, asteroids and comets are all following these curves, resulting in the intricate patterns of motion we observe. Just as a marble would roll along a curved surface, so too do celestial bodies traverse the universe along the contours of the space-time fabric. They aren't being pulled or pushed. They're merely following the path of least resistance through a universe that's warped by mass and energy. In this way, all celestial bodies, from the smallest asteroid to the largest galaxy, are dancing along the curves in the fabric of space-time so what happens when these curves become too extreme? Let's dive right in. Picture this, a black hole, the ultimate celestial maverick, where space-time curvature is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. It's like a whirlpool from which no ship can sail out. This extreme bending of space-time, as proposed by Einstein, isn't just a figment of theoretical physics. It has been proven time and again Remember the bending of starlight observed during a solar eclipse? That's Einstein's theory in action. And let's not forget the detection of gravitational waves, those ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by the most violent cosmic events. 
These examples serve as robust evidence that Einstein's revolutionary ideas weren't just wild conjectures. They are the pillars supporting our understanding of the universe. Indeed, the fabric of space-time is the grand stage on which the cosmic ballet of the universe unfolds.